Bargello embroidery is traditionally stitched on needlepoint canvas with tapestry wool, but it can also be stitched on Ada cloth with six strand embroidery floss. Today, I'm gonna to show you some tricks for how to do that. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojogi, and embroidery. Bargello is traditionally stitched on needlepoint canvas with tapestry wool, but it can also be stitched on Ada cloth with six strand embroidery floss. That's what I did on these little Christmas tree ornaments. Um, this is a small little sample of Bargello embroidery. And if you wanna check out the patterns for these, you can click the link below to get more information. But Ada cloth and six strand embroidery floss is a great option, especially if you're just trying this for the first time. Uh, Ada cloth and floss are easy to get. You don't need to go to a specialty embroidery store and they're pretty easy to work with. There are, however, a couple things that will help to get you a better result in your stitching. So here's a couple tips. So when you're stitching, you're gonna wanna have your Ada cloth be in a hoop. With some embroidery techniques, you can stitch a cloth out of a hoop and just hold it in your hand. But in this case, the hoop, as much as holding your fabric secure, it helps to hold your fabric and gives you two hands to be able to work with your stitches. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you have to separate your strands of embroidery floss. Now with this, we're gonna be using all six strands of the embroidery floss, which is unusual. Usually with embroidery, you would only use uh, two or three strands, but with this, we are gonna be using all six strands. So you might be wondering why we have to separate them if we're gonna be using them all together. But the reason why is because we want the six strands of floss to lay side by side um, neatly in a row when we're stitching, not kind of like a uh, rope or more rounded. And so separating them will help to be able to get them to lay side by side. So we can see how this is more like a flat ribbon than um, a curled uh, string or cord. So now we will thread our floss and we're going to as much as possible when we're stitching try and keep these strands laying side by side and so when we're stitching we will um, probably want to use a waist knot for this so you can check my other video if you're not sure about a waist knot but I'll knot the ends of the thread. And then I'll put my knot on the front side over here. And then I'll go over to the middle to where I'm gonna begin stitching. And so I'm just gonna be stitching a really simple, um, basic Bargello design to show how the stitches go. And so when we bring the thread up, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are all laying flat and smooth. And then carefully as we pull it in try and make sure that the threads stay flat um, as the threads going down so there's a couple different ways you can do that so you can do this just with your hand as I just showed you or you can get special tools called laying tools which are specifically designed to help um, lay your thread smoothly, or you can even use another large needle. This also works as a laying tool. And this can be easier if you have a uh, stand even to hold your hoop, so you don't even have to hold your hoop. But just check each stitch to make sure that the threads are laying flat. And so you'll need to 
untangle them every once in a while, just lay them smooth again. So just take your time with each stitch. Making sure that your threads are laying nicely. So here's another thread I'm going to show you as contrast. And this is thread just as it came off of the skein. So I didn't separate the strands. And I'm not going to lay them with a laying tool. So I'll just show you the difference of how that looks. So we can see it doesn't look horrible. This would still be um, okay, but it it does. It's not as flat. It doesn't fill out as much space as these stitches do that are laid nicely. So there you can see the difference that it makes by um, separating your strands first and then using a laying tool in your fingers to lay it out smoothly. So doing those things when you're stitching will help give you flat, even stitches that cover the base fabric. So I hope that was helpful to show how doing a few simple things can give you a much better result in your stitching. So what do you think? Have you ever done Bargello on eight o'clock with embroidery floss? Let me know if you have tried it or if you'd like to try it. For more embroidery ideas and inspiration, be sure to follow EBITDA Studio.